Hello and welcome to wherever. Let's throw some stuff together and hope it's interesting. Last week, we restarted the channel. It's rough. There's lots to improve and all the initial ideas haven't even rolled out yet. There's like two. And we'll get to that later. For now, this channel will revolve around two shows. One of games, their worlds, creatures, and challenges, and the other a creative show, mostly in Blender, with the initial idea of adding something to the world environment the first show is currently dealing with. And this is the general flow of things for now. One video to kick off the week, then at least two between Tuesday and Friday, with others popping up on occasion. The rest of the time shall be used mainly to practice and experiment within Blender, but also drafting other video ideas to mix it up and ways to improve the existing ideas. On to the distractions! Occasionally, I'll pause the berating of my self-worth, lift my head from my desk and see what's entertaining folks and if it's doing well. There was a lot in gaming this week, but here's just a quick snippet. The hype train just don't stop in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Banjo and Kazooie sitting prominently in fans' minds since their announcement three months ago at E3, with other additions falling to the side with a, oh, cool. More recently, fans lost it once again with certain Me Fighter costumes. One font in particular. I thought most players hated Me Fighters. Like, the tear of hatred went like the use of items, users of undesirable tech like wobbling, and then me fighters and sword users, right? Anyways, let's move on. World of Warcraft is floating around in the top five on Twitch.tv view count. It's not often a title gets hyped for old content, but when it happens, move over Fortnite. Speaking of, the shotgun apocalypse is over to an extent. Many will cry, well, many will still cry over the mechs. This desk considers them more of an irregular problem, where the amount of shotguns and deaths by shotguns pose more of a constant problem to play experience and viewing experience. A more critical look at this topic and others in a later segment at a later time. Looking forward into the week, re releases with the most excitement, Spyro the Reignited Trilogy finally comes to the Switch. Greedfall seems exciting, gives me Morrowind vibes. And on September 13th, Borderlands 3. We are looking into making more of a cathartic show where I take a feature and just dump negativity on it. Then in fairness and balance, take that same feature and nothing but positivity. Alternating which gets posted first topic by topic. Um, we're also looking into creating new environments to drift through. Portals are being stubborn. And uh, the final bit of recovered drifter data involving Super Metroid is finally edited and ready to go. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, it's some of my most favorite experiences with a fellow drifter. So. That's it for now. Till next time, I hope you have a wonderful week, fun, not boring, and signing off.